Uh, the cat lady, yeah. Check. And where's the baker? Ah, over there. Check. And there's still someone we're missing. Um, ah, there she is. The one who always is the latest. Check. Welcome back to a new Hints and Theories video. My name is Julia and I hope you've already found your seat because this is going to be an interesting video about all the Hints and Theories from episode number 5. Let's start with the fact that there was no one going home in this episode and that there was also no test. And there's something I'm wondering about. You probably know that I always upload the official test question on Instagram, TikTok and also here on YouTube. By the way, make sure to check my social media accounts out and please subscribe to this channel here. And now that there was no test, I'm wondering if there will be an official test question. Those questions are always interesting because they can help us find the more and well, no test probably means no test question or an older test question. So I'm really curious to see what they will upload on Monday. Have you spotted it? The rubber duck of this episode? Yeah, it wasn't an actual rubber duck, it was more like, well, a duck or a yellow bird. And that one was located on Jure's t-shirt during task number two. By the way, there's a whole the rubber duck theory around Jure. He was part of a show called De Wereld Dreit Door. And well, they had kind of a, let's call it a running gag in that show, to hide a rubber duck in each episode. And at some point they kind of made that public and um, showed how they fool all the people. Let's jump to task number one. That one was called Alta Ego. And that can be, again, a wordplay. So if you want to know more about that, make sure to check out the description box below because there I always translate the titles of the episode and of the tasks. And I also, well, explain if there's a wordplay in it. The first thing we have to think about regarding task number one and actually also the following task is that they are connected to the last episode and the ending of the last episode with the, well, money that was taken out of the pot. The thing is, the two candidates with the highest amounts weren't able to be part of the first task in this episode. And I think, as a mole, it would be interesting to be part of the task alter ego, because there could actually be a lot of money earned and it is also the connection to task number two because only if you were part of the church task you were also part of the group who well got the envelopes in task number two and had to decide if they wanted to well choose the money or choose the joker so for the mall it would actually be interesting to not have one of the two highest mounts in the last episode and let's think again about who was the one who decided which person got which amount of money. And that one was Anka. And she also chose a, well, not so high amount for herself, so that she would end up in the church and also end up at that, well, table to decide joker or money. And that could actually be a very good mall action, I think. Because not only could you mall in the church, but you could also make sure that there is not money going back into the pot at the end of task number two. Now if we have a real look into the task and the first thing that comes to my mind is that Daniel was very eager to be part of the group who was in the church, not on the street. But then again, I think that it is, well, possible to more in both groups. Daniel and Ranomi weren't very, well, um, giving a lot of information about what they actually needed to know about the people. And you could still place them wrong, not write everything down, so a lot of possible more action there. Also, Jure and Anke were very clear in the information they gave them. 
And, well, in general, the communication between those two groups could have been better. They could have, well, told them that they didn't need any names of the people, for example. And also, of course, the portophones didn't work again. In general, a lot of portophone miscommunication in that whole episode. And, to be honest, guys, it's getting a bit boring. I mean, yes, it's a basic more action, but still, a lot of not working portophones so far. And last but not least about this task, an anti-more action from Ranomi, because she came up with the really clever idea that the person with the, well, title of the one who always is the latest would also come as the latest into the church. That's actually a really clever idea and it did work out, which means 100 euro in the pot. Have you watched my more bookie video? If so, and if you've read the comments, then you probably know Yuri's biggest fear now. Because in that book they had to answer some questions and they also were asked what they are afraid of. And Yuri answered that he is afraid of haunting houses. So that means definitely not his favorite task in assignment number two, but also a lot of drama in there again. I mean, he is in general a person who, well, sometimes acts a bit more dramatically, if you ask me, but have a look at his reaction when they were sitting at a dinner table. He was really acting a bit dramatic, but at the same time he was also watching his neighbors and how they reacted to, well, all the haunting stuff going on. This episode was called Portrette, which means portraits. And the portraits showed up in assignment number two. But if we're being honest, then Nabil's photo wasn't actually a portrait. And that could be a hint to Nabil as the mole with the only one not having a real portrait in there. Also, some people are very, well, enthusiastic about the fact that um, under Saul's portrait there was like a tag where it says Ik ben, which means translated I am, and if you translate that to Spanish then it means soy. So yeah, maybe a hint to soy. <laughs> and one more thing about those portraits, there's also a hint to Daniel or let's say a probable hint to Daniel uh, because he was well painted or shown as a priest and in this episode the church as location was very important so that could be a hint to Daniel. Also in the group who was in the house you know the well handwriting was very important because the handwriting basically told them what to do and if you have a look at the handwriting, then you can, of course, compare that to the handwriting of the candidates. And there are some people who believe it could, well, look like Daniel's handwriting, because you can check that with the first task in this episode, as he was writing down on that, well, overview with the chairs. But then again, I personally believe it isn't an actual handwriting, but more like a font, a computer font. And that is because it looks perfect. If you compare the letters with each other, like two Ks, two S, two Gs, then they look 100% alike. And even if you're very concentrated while handwriting, you will probably never, well, make sure that those letters look 100% alike. Also, the majority of people connect letters while handwriting. So even if you do not connect all the letters, you connect at least some of them and do not have that space in between all the letters. But that, again, is typical if you're writing something on the computer with a certain computer font. It's also very interesting that Ranomi wasn't the only one to be able to get the right answer, maybe thanks to Jure and Daniel. And also, your influences Anke when she is supposed to choose if she wants to choose the money or the Joker. So he is well encouraging her to go for the Joker. And that could be, of course, a mall action simply because the mall doesn't want the money to be back in the pot. 
But as a candidate, at the same time, it's also the question if you would really want her to have a yogurt. Because the other ones have yogurts already and you just don't want so many candidates with yogurts because, yeah, they are contestants. But at the same time, of course, he could, well, try to check out how she reacts. You always have several layers in this mall. The first one is to think, yeah, why would he do that? But the second one is he needs to test people. And maybe he suspects her and wants to see her reaction to all of that. In general, I have to say there are a lot of people who suspect Jure the most at the moment. And he is also the one with the, well, highest percentage in the official rankings. And this is always a reason to be a bit skeptical about him. And I still do not really see him as a mole, to be honest. But let me think who you think is the mole. Because these were all hints and theories to episode number 5 so far. Let me know in the comments below what you think about them and if you've seen anything suspicious that I didn't mention yet. Also make sure to check out my other videos, subscribe to this channel here and also please follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. I'm always so looking forward to read your comments. They are always so much fun and so interesting. And by the way, also make sure to like come back in a day or two and read those comments. There are always theories in there and it's so interesting. I will see you next week when we talk about episode number six. Until then, bye!